This is showing, now surfacing the top section of the head, this face here. And I'm using a lathe to do this. So this is the head, now it's been deburred, all the holes have just had a countersink bit put into them just to put a chamfer on the edge and I've just run round the uh, chamber edge with a needle file just to take any sharp edges off. Just turn a larger taper on the guides to bullet nose them slightly. Inlets a bit more bullet nosed than the exhausts. Let's press those in. Using a fly press to push the guides in. It's just nice and easy because it puts them all in at the right height. Done. Now we go over to seat cutting and inserting. I'm going to be putting unleaded seats in the exhaust and cutting the seats now. These are the unleaded seats. This is just a harder material. And here they sound quite hard, uh, which stops the seats eroding with unleaded fuel. So we're just going to put those in each exhaust. We need to check the valves fit in the guides and that they're a nice slide fit. If not, then we use a hand reamer just to ream the guides out to the right size. This is the tool that I use for seat cutting and inserting. Uh, it's called a Myra. It's a magnetic base with a cutter that will cut a recess for the insert.
pressing the inserts in. Just checking the valve height. So that seat's cut at 45 degrees and they're all equalised for height. So now I'm just going to do a top and bottom cut, thin the seat down. So that's the seat's cut with a top and bottom cut. These are the valves that I'm going to be using. These are mini spares, race valves, single groove, uh, better shape for better flow. The inlet you can see is wasted as well as being quite flat and having a, a back cut after the actual seat. These are 35.7 inlet and 31 exhaust, which does leave a gap, but it's usually fairly small because this is an early head. There's a little bit more space between the valves. 